Hello, Zazerlites, and welcome back to our satisfactory Let's Play. Now, last episode, we were on the experimental branch. The update 4 has come out to the early access branch. So, if you can look up there in the upper left hand corner, you'll notice that we're on early access now. And I've waited this long to go forward in this process. So I've not made a video in a couple weeks just because. The Coffee Stain released a video saying that they were going to tweak some of the recipes and stuff like that before it came out on Early Access. So I didn't want to have to build production lines and then modify them later to meet the new recipe requirements. So I purposely held off till now. But uh, we are out on Early Access and the tweaks should be done. Hopefully they won't come along and screw things up later. So we can go ahead and build here from now with at least some degree of certainty that we're not going to have to tear down and rebuild later. So, with that being said, last episode we unlocked Boxite, and I'm going to just run downstairs here and throw up a few machines to see what the new recipes are for Boxite. So, let's see here, we'll throw up, oh, production, finery. Okay, so, Boxite. Aluminum solution, so we need bauxite and water. 180 water per minute, huh? Make 120 aluminum solution. And we'll just scrap the silica. We'll use a bit of the silica later on, but we'll scrap the majority of it. At least I think we still use silica later on. Don't know for sure, actually. They've changed stuff. But, uh, 120 bauxite and 18. 180 per minute of water so we're gonna need quite a bit of water back here so step one is probably getting water up here to the base then to make aluminum scrap we'll need the aluminum solution in coal now currently we are stealing coal from our steel production later on we're gonna have a dedicated coal coming in but that's probably gonna be with drone so for now we're just gonna go ahead and steal our coal from our production lines or from our steel production that's gonna make aluminum scrap and put out water so that's interesting actually so we'll take that's 240 aluminum solution so we'll need yeah, so we'll need 360 water coming in in order to just feed one of these to get back 120 so we'll need a net of 240 water per minute per three machines set up here to get our aluminum scrap now to turn aluminum scrap into that's in a uh, forge, I believe. Foundry. In order to turn our aluminum scrap into aluminum ingots, we're going to need 90 per minute aluminum scrap and 75 per minute silica. So we're actually going to Let me work this out here. That's just going to make 360 scrap per minute. This is going to use 90. So that's four foundries and times 75. That's 300 silica a minute. And we're going to be reducing 240. So we're going to have four of these. So that'd be 240 a minute aluminum ingots. But before we do any of that, we need to bring bauxite in. So, let's go over to where we're going to start building our train station. Okay, guys, the train made its first loop. Came back. We're going to hop in and take it, go for a ride here. Unloaded its first amount of bauxite. These things move pretty fast. They use quite a bit of power too, which is why we're only going to use one, probably. At least here for the start. Much, much later, after we get our starter base completely filled out, we can do a lot of other things. Have trains all over the world, but for now, we only need the one, so we've only got the one.
we are going to need to bring up water that'll be our next step we'll bring it up from over here and then eventually we're going to build our nuclear power plants and I think we're going to do that out there I think we'll fill this entire coastline which is nuclear power plants so we're going to go big once we get to nuclear but until nuclear uh, we're going small getting our starter factory done past our Poison Isles of Doom over here. Takes us past where we get our oil, or over here by where we get our oil. We get our bauxite from way up there, just off in the distance you can see the miner. There it is. Comes down to the cliff face there, over to there, comes across that catwalk to this train station where we pick it up. I love how those little flaps come open when it's slowing down. Do a pretty good job with this animations, all this stuff. Okay. Pick up our box set. And off we go. I'm not sure if later on we'll need to add cars for bauxite or how that's going to go. I know we've only got a tier 2 miner up there and tier 4 belts, so it's not all that important at the moment. Later we might be able to do something else, get more if we need more. I'm not sure how much we're going to build at our starter base compared to how much we're going to build. This line looks crooked. It shouldn't. But it does. I don't know if that's just an optical mirage or if it is actually crooked. Shouldn't be. Put it down right dead in the center of those, uh. That's weird. This one over here looks straight. This one over here just looks crooked the whole way down, like it's got a bend in it. Interesting. Hmm, looks straight here, doesn't it? I don't know. Might have to go back and redo that. corner here and it'll unload then as long as we never run out of power it should do that in an infant loop just forever go over there pick up come over here and drop off I don't like it That's our first little train in this playthrough. So now we need to bring it out of here, take it down there, and then pipe it back over to the base. So that's going to take a bit. Okay, guys, as you can see, I've ran our... I'm over here in our waterfall area, where we have our water, and I've ran five water extractors into a single pipe. This uh, will give us 600 water per minute going back to the base. So all I need to do is hook up power to the water extractors and I left room over here so we can put five more and another pipe here so each of these sort of docking areas here can come off to run 1200 total water up 
so we can run as many of these down as we need to. Obviously, we got plenty of room, plenty of water. We'll hook up our water, or water extractors to power. Then we'll need to hook a pump up. And that'll get us our 600 water per minute upstairs. And then we'll just need to pipe that back to the base. So we will throw a pump in. Use a Mark II, why not? there. Just run power from there to there. Okay, and our, our water should be bumping upstairs. Awesome. Alright guys, I'm going to run that back to the base and then I'll meet you guys over there with the water and the box site where we can start setting up our aluminum productions. See you soon. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've ran our water back along with our oil that we have coming up there down here in this direction and our bauxite so I routed it all from the train station over here and I routed the water all the way back from the bridge over there just laying down pipes getting it set up and uh, this is where we're going to be making our aluminum solution which we're going to turn into aluminum scrap which we're going to turn into aluminum ink it's all in this area here we got our oils or plastic and rubber set up over there which is all, believe it or not, probably just temporary because we're going to do that much more efficiently in the future. But we're going to set this up for the ability to expand it. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw down a couple refiners. And we want the in feeds on these refineries that direction. So we're not going to set them right against the pipes. We want them to be able to go in. So we're going to set them a little bit out. About one block. And for every two refineries making aluminum solution, get that one lined up. We're going to need another refinery down at this end of the map, down at this end of the building, facing the opposite direction. One block out. I think that's lined up. Looks like it. Okay. So we are going to set these for our luminous solution. Going to be our box there in the water. It takes two of these for every one of those. Now, the first thing we need to do, we need we know we need a net of 240 water. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, logistics. We'll put in a valve here. There it is. First time we've used one of these. First time we've had them. We're going to put it in right there. And we know we want 240, no more than 240 a minute coming in here. Let me click if there's a valve. All right, so we want this valve limit set to 240. Okay, so we now have 240 a minute coming in this pipe. Now we can obviously, if we add more machines later, we can adjust that for however much we need in this pipe. But for now, we only want 240 because we're going to be outfeeding water from that machine to back to this machine. So we're going to just outfeed it back into this line coming this way. So we're going to put a junction in here. Right about there, and this one, right about there, and then we've got a pipe down here, mark one's all we need, okay, now a box eight. it's like a little metal line here is the center, so we're going to want a splitter, put right there, and another splitter, put right there, there, and then run a belt from there to there, 
and from there to there. Okay, all we need over here now is power. Let's see where, way over here. And we now have a luminous solution being made. Now this is going to put out a luminous solution in silica. Now the silica we don't want at this stage, so we're going to go ahead and sink that. So I think what we'll do is we'll throw... Well, let's put the pipe up first, actually. Yeah, it looks like it's about mine. So let's put the pipe up and then we'll deal with the belts afterwards. Do it. Too die. Okay. Right, that line. Later, we're probably going to uh, have more of these machines, so we'll go ahead and put a 600 pipe up here just in case. the missed mark. There we go. Okay, we'll put another junction in here. About right there. And this one. About right there. Far so good. Put another junction down here. And this will in feed. Yes, that's the end. This will in feed the solution to this machine. This machine is going to be making aluminum scrap. We need coal in here as well, and I brought that down from upstairs already. And this is going to be out doing water. So this water is going to go back into this machine, or into this line. Which is why we limited it to 240 down there, because we're going to be getting 120 out down here. We'll feed the water back in here and down to there. You don't need this line. We don't need this line. Nope. Okay. That takes care of water and solution. Next is the silica. That or these. Get them out of the way. Okay, so we're going to want this to run this direction down there towards our sink. So we'll put a merger and say right here.
90 in here. And we're gonna run this. So fine here. Already have I'll bubble up. Two off in there. Put a merger in here. And now we have our excess silica coming down here to our awesome scheme. Over here we have a smart splitter, so any excess plastic that we're making, if it backs up, the overflow will run over here and merge into our awesome sink as well. So that'll keep our plastic running, which keeps our fuel going, which keeps our fuel generators going. So that is aluminum solution check. We should have aluminum solution down here. And we need to run coal over here. I brought coal down right here. So, I think what we'll do, uh, instead of going right there, aim out here. That's better. Okay. Now later if we need to put a splitter in here to get more coal down there we can, but for now we're just going to run it in here. Then we're going to need power to here. that one. Or right, there's something on the side on this one. Wires T1. Watch this. solution coming in here. We should have scrap and water coming out. So far, so good. Okay. Now we're going to put a merger. Yeah, here should be good. Put a merger here. Want it to go that direction. Here we are going to set some forges, founders. Keep all them forges for some reason. I don't want to go up here, so set them back a bit. Probably to here. I want four of these. Let's 
set these to aluminum ingots. So we'll need our silica and our scrap. So we will go too high for the silica, four for the scrap. Sounds like a plan. So we're going to probably back here. line here. She wants a splitter. There. 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 And then we're going to want a splitter right under it. In that direction. This one is going to be from that direction. Okay. Bring the silica down. That'll be our. Okay. That one in. These hooked up. Just need the outfeed. Okay, we got four machines making aluminum screw or aluminum ingots, and these ingots are going to outfeed and go up. Probably right around here somewhere. I need to actually do that from upstairs. But, so we now have four machines making 60 aluminum ingots per minute, so we have 240 aluminum ingots per minute being made. That's the end of our aluminum ingot production.
for now. Like I said, we can expand it later. We'll just put two machines down there for every machine we put there. And as we expand that, we can expand this as needed. We can expand this over here on this side as well to make... Probably fit two more machines down in here. Two more machines here and another four machines here. So we could triple this here easily enough. Before we need to add a four or anything like that. And uh, we do have some area underneath this floor too, so uh, we could be smelting all this down there, which maybe eventually we will. I'm not 100% sure. But for now, at least, uh, that's our aluminum ingot production. We just need to get that upstairs, and then we can start building our aluminum casings and our aluminum sheets. And that'll probably be next episode. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, do all that great good stuff, and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.